Uh, I've heard that you uh, bombed terribly in your hometown in front of 35,000 people. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Do you ever dream of like having a comeback, being like, fuck you guys, like being like, you know, like the ugly kid in high school coming back to the green and being like the hot one? Yeah, no, I mean, it was, it was actually kind of just like being in high school in Pittsburgh. <laughs> It was what it was like. But like high school in Pittsburgh at that time was like a cross between Game of Thrones and Heather's and like <laughs> and blue collar. And uh, and that's exactly what that felt like. That kind of like derision and disapproval was it brought me back to like when I first played Little League, my parents didn't know that I needed glasses. So it was just a total disaster. It felt exactly like that. <laughs> See, I didn't need glasses, I was just terrible. <laughs> Yeah, me too. I mean, I, yeah, I had very little going for me at that time. It's funny, I was talking to my parents recently, and I was like, oh yeah, I was fast back then. And my parents were like, no, no, you weren't. <laughs> my dad's like, yeah, I used to be like, my kid is slow. Yeah, I was going to be faster back then, for sure. <laughs> um, so, do you, do you have like a dream of like making one, one last show there, back in Pittsburgh, and like, and like showing them all up, or no? No, I'd like to do tons of shows there. Um, I think we'd be playing to a different group of people. Like we we got hired to play fireworks night at the Pirates Stadium, PNC Park. Oh yeah, you got a bunch of rednecks. And shit. Yeah, so it was a lot of people from out of town. Like if if we had been Rascal Flats, and if we had rehearsed, you know, in the year prior to us going there, then, then we might have uh, done a little bit better. But as it was. Um, and then, uh, unbeknownst to us, we played the Boston Red Sox fight song. That was the first song that we played. Or no, I think we played Stairway to Heaven first, and it was a little too irreverent for a suburban <laughs> Pittsburgh crowd, so there was just dead silence. And then we played the Boston Red Sox fight song, which, which uh, as it happened to be, was uh, Sweet Caroline. And uh, and then the booing started, and then crescendoed, and then it was 35,000 people booing me in my hometown with a view because it's a beautiful, like new, old style ballpark. You know what I mean? Like like Fenway, or I mean Fenway's actually old, but uh, like you could see all of downtown Pittsburgh, and they were setting off fireworks like bombs from barges and from it was like being on acid. <laughs> Which I'm on right now, go on. <laughs> and that was it. <laughs> they booed. We stayed down in the bunker for about an hour. They made us shirts. And then uh, the next day I looked at my phone and the first text that I got, um, our manager neglected to put, you know, the, the, the apostrophe in there. So it just said, we're fired, is what it said. <laughs> so we were supposed to play three days and instead we played only one. We got paid for two though. <laughs> Fuck, man. <laughs> Pittsburgh's a rough place. I hear that. Yeah. It's getting better all the time, though. Yeah, do you go back often? I was just back there. It was weird. <laughs> so, um, Spike's also in a ukulele band, correct? Indeed. And they're called You Cunt. Mm -hmm. What are you laughing at? <laughs> and uh, you play a song for us, correct? Indeed. Yes! Absolutely. Shall I? Please. To my right is Jamin Barton. He's been playing the 